Hi everyone, my name is Mukesh Kala. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to see the next video in the what and the how series of UiPath. In case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel to get the latest video in the what and the how series of UiPath. Also, in case if you have a similar kind of question which you want me to cover in this series, feel free to drop me an email or you can also write your query in the comments as well. Having said that, let's get started. For the people who are looking this series for the first time, in the series I usually answer the question which I receive over my WhatsApp, over my email, Instagram or over the YouTube comments. Prior to this video, we have already covered these videos in the series. In case you want any of this, feel free to watch the videos and that should give you some insights. So today I am going to talk about something which is called the resource center. Now there was a question which I got on my email which says that hey I am using a different version of UiPath Studio and now I want to go to a older version of UiPath Studio right then there was one more comment where we have something which is called the remote automation and to do the remote automation we require the remote automation MSI file which means that depending on which stage of automation you are there are always requirement for us where we require resources from UiPath it may be the MSI file, it may be the task capture, it can be the orchestrator mobile app, it can be the community version or the enterprise version of UiPath, right? So that's why today I thought of sharing you an important resource which is again provided by UiPath which is called the UiPath Resource Center. Show you where that is available and how you can get all the resources, right? So for that you simply have to log into your cloud account. So the URL for the cloud account is cloud.uipath.com, right? So this is the cloud account. In case you are an enterprise customer, so you must have something which is called a customer portal. You can always go to the customer portal and get all these details, right? And let's say you are not into the customer and you are an individual user who is using the community edition. Just go to this one, which is called the cloud.uipath.com. Okay, so this is the same one where we are having our UiPath cloud account. I am using my account which is mail mukeshkala at the rate of gmail.com. I'll select my account and I'll log in. Okay, so you have to just log into your same account. We'll just wait for the portal to successfully log in. Okay, and this is how you would see the UiPath cloud portal. Okay, so this is the place where you have all the other resources, studio web, orchestrator, everything available here, right? On the top right of the screen, you see this question mark. So this is your help button. You can click on that. Okay. And here you have your support ID as well. So in case uh, you want to raise some tickets to UiPath and you are looking for the support ID. So this is where you find the support ID for this particular user or the account right then you have the documentation community forum academy youtube tutorials everything and at the bottom you would have something which is called the downloads right so in this help menu you have the last one which is called the downloads i go here and i click on this button downloads okay and that should now open the uipath resource center for me okay in the resource center on the left hand side you would have this sections which is for the enterprise edition where it is showing that the latest version is 23.10.1 in case you want to have any other version of enterprise edition you can simply click on this version which is uh, this hyperlink which says other version and it shows you all the previous version 20.10, 21.10, 22.10, 23.10, 23 and 23.4.6, right? You can always copy the link and that will copy the URL like this and studio download link copied successfully. Now, wherever you want to paste, you can just paste it like this and that should directly download the MSI file, right? It is helpful when you want to share the direct link to some customer or to some clients, okay? In the same website, we have something which is called the section of community edition. From here, you can download the latest version, which is 23.10.1. Okay. The other good part here is that you have something which is called release notes. So if you click on that release note, it should 
navigate to the website which is docs.uipart.com okay and what is new in that release you can just go here and you can read about what exactly is in that version of uipath okay so that link is also available in the same page right on the right hand side you have something which is called feature download so which has the orchestrator 23.10.1 you have the robot assistant assistant for mac os which is in enterprise version you have the action center remote time runtime installer right i hope you guys remember this this is when you want to do the remote desktop automation so this is the remote runtime installer you have the automation launchpad task capture task mining we have an orchestrator mobile app which is available on android as well as on ios you can download it from here then we have some of the ui part tools such as browser migration office repair platform configuration all of these tools are available and the best part you have this ui explorer also here similarly you have all these other options here right so let's say in some machine you only want to have the robot and this guy you can always go here and this will give you the ui path robot.msi file right so that way you can only install the robot and assistant for 23 dot 10.1 version right so this is how you get all these details also I just want to reinsure that you guys remember that if you are working for any enterprise, any customer or any client, right, you can always use the customer portal of UiPath and raise a ticket. Okay, so that is all for this video. I would like to wrap this video here. I hope this was insightful. If you have any more questions, any more doubts, feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well. I would appreciate your feedback on the video and tell me in the comments what would be the next topic or next video you want to see. So with that, I would wrap this video here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation.